set of tools which assesses the, the damage uh, on a high resolution. So you, uh, on, on a building scale, you can uh, estimate the effect of a flood or estimate the effect of a, uh, of a measure to prevent flood or reduce damage of a flood. Um, and that's, all the, that's for the damage part. Um, and then there is a uh, tool connected to that, directly connected, um, which is all about the impacts on the economy as a whole. Um, so through the trade linkages uh, um, uh, from, for instance, a port area, it is connected with the hinterland um, and uh, the effects through those economic chains uh, are, are modeled as well by this, uh, by this second link model. Yeah, so yeah, we all know that floods can, have major, uh, can cause major damages on, on cities, on urban regions uh, all over the world. We see it in the news every day. The um, problem is that those events are very rare, that's actually not a problem, that's good. But because they are so rare, it's very difficult to uh, assess upfront what kind of impacts a flood will have on them. So what we did is we, we developed a model which had a very high detail, um, can determine these impacts of potential flood events for a, uh, for a region or for a city or for a, a part of a city. And then both in terms of the, um, the damages to the buildings, but also, and that's very important, the effect on the economy as a whole, because it's not only the flooded area which is affected, but uh, through the economic links, it has uh, it, it, it can blow throughout the region and also affect many other places. Yeah. And tell us about uh, we started developing this for the Rotterdam region, um, uh, and from there on, we've also applied it already in uh, Amsterdam, in Rotterdam, uh, for the tourist project. We also went to Ljubljana, Slovenia. Um, uh, we've worked in New York and at the moment we're also looking at these economic impacts at the European scale, uh, also to advise the European uh, Union on, uh, on big flood events in Europe and how it affects economic trade linkages. Yeah. No, what we've seen, for instance, in the Rotterdam study, um, that we saw that the, uh, the, those economic effects, so not as much the damage to the buildings, but the economic effects are just as big as the damages to the buildings. And that is a part which has you know, not been uh, included very often in the mindset of, uh, of, of decision making when it comes to flood management. Um, but through this research with, with, which we've done here in Touras, um, that is now on the agenda of the policy makers. And, um, we've seen that also in the European study um, that these economic links, especially for the bigger floods, are, are actually dominating your impact. Yeah, it, it gives you a, a, a way to a priori assess those impacts and then you can weigh that against the cost of measures. And within the same uh, model, you can also evaluate those measures and see how they reduce the risk. Um, and that reduction in risk is your benefit, and that benefit can then be compared to the cost of a measure, which gives you an idea whether the measure is worthwhile or not. And you can compare different measures with each other, um, uh, and uh, with that package, you can develop a strategy for your city.